good morning friends in the previous lecture we have studied about the ampere's law its statement mathematical form and also we have to discuss about the differential form of the ampere circuit law in the magnetostatics we are going to discuss the last article in the today's lecture that is moving coil galvanometer moving coil galvanometer uh, ballistic galvanometer uh, expression for charge basically we are going to discuss the what are the different types of galvanometers in that specially we are going to discuss about the ballistic galvanometer and expression for charge here uh, generally we have to say that the uh, different types of galvanometer generally two types of galvanometer we have to consider one is called as ballistic galvanometer and another is called as dead weight galvanometer in the dead weight galvanometer we have to say that a current is directly proportional to the deflection say theta and in the ballistic galvanometer we have to say that the charge is directly proportional to say theta means we have to prove here charge is directly proportional to say theta in the first case we have to discuss about the construction for the ballistic galvanometer that is ballistic galvanometer types of galvanometer are two types one is called as ballistic galvanometer in that we have to say that q is a directly proportional to say theta and dead weight galvanometer we have to say that a r is directly proportional to say theta in this case we have to construct uh, explain explain first about the construction of the ballistic galvanometer in short it is called as bg uh, in ballistic galvanometer and another is uh, theory of the ballistic galvanometer and after that we have what is the expression for the charge in the ballistic galvanometer these are the points we are going to discuss on this lecture first uh, galvanometer uh, what are the we have to cons uh, construction here uh, mcg mcg means what moving coil galvanometer uh, same uh, as a steady current measuring type steady type uh, steady current measuring that is i is directly proportional to theta in that we have to say that it is the same type as say steady current measuring type of galvanometer bg are uh, ballistic galvanometer are used to measure a charge generally what is the use of ballistic galvanometer first of all we have to say that ballistic galvanometer is used to measure the charge and the moment of inertia for the coil is a very large and another important point coil is wound on the bamboo or ebonite or the uh, ori these are the different materials we have to use for the winding the coil and in the theory we have to consider uh, one rectangular coil that coil consists of the uh, carrying a current is say i and n number of turns can be uh, having the uh, coil l be the length and b be the breadth and b is called as say magnetic induction now a uh, while coil is deflecting or oscillating in the um, uh, magnetic field what will happen that the force acting on the two sides that is f is equals to n b i l this is very important condition for the force acting on the coil that is we have to say that sometimes we have to calculate the force where n f is the force n is the number of turns b is the magnetic induction i is the current and l is the length for the uh, rectangular coil then we are going to discuss about the impulse impulse is nothing but what the force product of force and time product of force and time is called as say impulse and here f is we have force and dt is the time so j bar is equals to n b i dash l into dt this is the impulse impulse is nothing but the first in the 11th standard we have to study about the impulse is nothing but the uh, what you have to say that impulse momentum theorem that is change in momentum impulse is nothing but the change in momentum and change in momentum is denoted by say dp and dp is equals to what we have to say that uh, again we have to write that rearing this equation n b l uh, into i dt and here dt this equation can be rearranged here dt i into dt is called as say a charge we know that the current is what nothing but current is nothing but i is equals to dq by dt means we have to say that dt has come here that is i into dt is nothing but the charge here we have to substitute the i into dt is nothing but what charge and then integrating this equation integration of dp is p and integration of dq is q so this is the call as say uh, change in momentum that is p is equals to nbl into q angular momentum is the moment of linear momentum and that is what we have to say that l is equals to p into b and then substitute this value in the equation here that is p is nothing but nbl into q and the length into breadth is nothing but as the area so angular momentum is equals to n b a into q n is the number of turns b is the magnetic induction a is the area of the coil and q is called as charge flowing through the 
oil. This is equation number say two. Basically, we in the twelfth standard we have to say that angular momentum is the product of moment of inertia and angular velocity. It is L is equals to I zero into omega from equation two and three. Left hand sides are similar. Equating equation that is say two and three. What you have to get that that is I zero is equals to n b a into q. This equation is very important here. From this equation, we have to find the omega uh, for later on. That is omega is equals to n b a divided by n b a into q divided by i zero. This is we have to consider as the angular velocity for calculating for the uh, moving coil the elastic behavior. And then torque is nothing but what we have to say that two is equals to say i into alpha uh, is the one of the formula. But when coil is uh, rotating at that time, the twist is formed in the coil. So Uh, restoring torque acting on the coil is given by the formula. Sometimes multiple choice question may be asked on that. What is the torque acting on the rotating coil? The torque acting on the rotating coil is we have to remember. So is equals to n b a into i. n b a into i. n is the number of turns. B is the magnetic induction. A is the area, and i is the moment of inertia. Remember the formula for torque for multiple choice. Torque is equals to n b a into i. Time period also uh, expression is uh, what is the time period for the what we have to say that uh, the coil acting on the magnetic field. Here this equation is also important. What is the expression for time period? P is equal to two pi under root of pi upon c, where i is the moment of inertia and c is a restoring torque constant that is called as c. Sometimes it is also called as say k. So. We have to say that t upon two pi is equals to under root of pi by c, but omega is equals to what we have to say that omega is nothing but two pi n, so n is nothing but one upon t, so two pi upon t is called as say omega, and then here we have t by two pi, so we have to say that one upon omega is equals to under root of i by c. This is equation number say six star here six, and this is six star. Now work done is nothing but the change in kinetic energy acting on the body. The work done is what we have to say that half of c into say theta square, and we know that uh, kinetic change in kinetic energy, a kinetic energy of the rotating body is we have to study in the twelfth standard uh, half of i into omega square. Therefore, work done is nothing but the change in kinetic energy. So we have to write that half of gets cancelled here. So c into theta square, c into theta square is here, and i zero into omega square here. These are the factors. So omega square. Here we have to say that i by c into theta square. Taking square of both sides, we have to get that omega is equals to theta as it is, and c upon i. This is the formula for omega. From equation number four and seven, we have to substitute the value. That is, we have to say that what is omega here? Omega is equals to n b a into q divided by i zero. Substitute this value here. That is, omega is n b a q divided by i zero. T times to C by I zero, and here we have to find the value of Q. Q is equals to what we have to say that uh, Q is equals to uh, we have to write that here C upon n b a. Uh, C is what we have to say that constant, and here C upon I zero uh, from equation six star. What we have to say that equation six star is nothing but what uh, this is the formula of consider as say C. Uh, upon n b a, this factor is there. I zero. Uh, we have to comes in the inside here. Then it becomes i square. I square matla ek i can I will cancel with, and we have to get that c is uh, c square is also taken out. Means when we have to comes in the c inside at at the end of square, a one factor can gets cancelled. So we have to get that q is equal to c upon n b a i zero by c. But i zero by c is nothing but what? From six star i zero by c one upon omega and one upon omega is nothing but what that is what we have to say that t upon two pi two t upon two pi is there c upon n b a into theta this is the factor for what we have to say that a charge acting on the coil and finally we have to say that q is directly proportional to say theta this is the expression for charge of the moving coil galvanometer. Uh, very important expression for the charge. Sometimes question may ask one multiple choice question may ask one that what is the expression for charge? Q is equals to T upon two pi C upon n b a into theta. 
t is the time period, 2 pi is the constant, c is the restoring constant, n is the number of terms, a is the area, b is the magnetic induction, and theta is the deflection. So we have to write that q is directly proportional to theta. This is the expression we have to say that q is directly proportional to theta, and that is the expression for the charge of the moving pi galvanometer. Uh, that is also considered as a velocity galvanometer and then we have to consider say di by dt here c upon nba is nothing but di by dt and that is that is considered as the uh, velocity the reduction factor of the velocity galvanometer finally what we have to say that q is directly proportional to say theta and these are the expression for the charge acting on the moving coil Velocity galvanometer, and this is the very important expression. Sometimes with number of uh, multiple choice question, torque kya hai, time period sa formula kya hai, charge expression kya hai, charge and theta mare kya relation hai, current and theta mare kya relation hai. These points are very important for the moving coil velocity galvanometer. Remember the points for according to the uh, theory. This is the expression also. Sometimes question may ask one that what is the relation between theta and n? Theta and n having relation is also what we have to say that theta is uh, directly proportional to this expression. What we have to say that theta is directly proportional to n. This is one of the relation we have to consider. Number of turns and theta mare ka relation ahe. Charge and theta mare ka relation ahe. Charge expression kaya ahe. Ani time period sa formula kaya ahe. Then torque acting on the rotating body. These are the I and theta mare ka relation ahe. These are the very important multiple choice questions according to the moving ballistic type galvanometer that is also called as MCG moving coil galvanometer. Thank you.